I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Happy Halloween, everyone. This has certainly been a scary year, so let's celebrate that there's only two months left in 2020. This week, the Dow fell over 2,000 points as fears of another COVID lockdown took over amidst rising hospitalizations. It apparently seemed a good week to plan on issuing more shares. Aurora Cannabis filed a new prospectus with securities regulators to make offerings of up to 500 million of common shares. That's a lot of dilution. Akerna priced a public offering of 5 million shares of its common stock at a public offering price of $2.40 per share. Tilt Holdings announced some management changes and preliminary financial results for the third quarter ending in September. The company promoted Gary Santo to president of Tilt and they also appointed Brad Hawk as their permanent chief financial officer. The third quarter revenue is expected to be between 40 and $41 million, and that's a 4 to 6% increase over the second quarter revenue of $38.6 million. California-based cannabis company Hollister Biosciences gave an update on their third quarter. Performance sales figures are looking like they will come in at Revenue of 12.5 million Canadian dollars. The company did state whether there was any net losses or profits for the quarter. These figures would be a sequential increase over the revenue from the second quarter, which was $8.47 million. Liberty Health Sciences announced that Victor Mancibo has resigned from the board of directors and his role as CEO effective at the end of December. George Grimps is a member of the board. He has been appointed the interim CEO. And this comes after shareholders expressed dissatisfaction with the company's disappointing cannabis production in the state of Florida. Real Brands has completed a reverse merger to acquire Canadian American Standard Hemp. That is effective immediately. Real Brands name and the trading symbol will be maintained. The cash shareholders will be acquiring the majority control of Real Brands. Navis Holdings defaulted on an $8 million debt payment that is associated with their acquisition of Perpetual Healthcare in Arizona. And in psychedelic news this week, Champignon stock was told to stop trading on the Canadian exchange for failure to submit the required documentation for its acquisitions. The company said it was in the process of getting caught up on its paperwork. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchardt with the Green Market Report.